Once you strip away your muscle, bolt three big gears into your shoulder. One makes your arm swing forward and back, one lifts it out side to side, and the other spins it in a circle. This is clearly just a visual illustration. Anything like exposed gears drilled directly into your shoulder would cause massive infection, tissue destruction, and immediate prosthesis rejection. The human body treats foreign metal like this as a threat. Without proper surgical interfaces and protective layers, you simply can't attach mechanics this way. At the elbow, run two steel cables like strings. The first pulls your forearm up while the other pulls it back and down. Then add larger gears to make it bend smoothly. Again, great for animation, but real bionic arms are far more complex. The biomechanics can be similar, but actual prosthetics rely on controlled joints. Actuators, sensors, and sometimes myoelectric signals, not exposed cables running through open tissue. Inside your forearm, add a planetary gear set that twists it left and right. This part is actually fascinating because the animation reflects what the real bones do. The radius rotates over the ulna, allowing the forearm to pronate and supinate. Most people don't know this, so credit to the creator for the anatomical accuracy here. And at the wrist, place two little gears, one to move your hand up and down, and the other to tilt it side to side. 